Good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time of day it is where you are watching this. It's morning where I'm at, so I'm sticking with good morning. Yeah, I'm gonna start mixing. We can talk about the setup while I mix because I have a lot to mix. So I'm in love with this table. As you can see, I have a lot going on here. I've got my foil lightener off on one side with the brushes that I'll be using there so I can keep it nice and organized while I work. And then I've got my balayage lightener with all the tools that I'm going to need off on the other side just so that I can keep a nice workflow going while everything stays nice and organized. This is the actual table that I use all day, every day in the salon. When you have a lot going on like I do, but you still wanna be organized, this thing is a, a savior. So people have been asking because I brought up a little while back that I was getting my hands on some of those highlighting combs that we're seeing all over the internet. So you'll notice here's a, a selection of some of the ones that I've been trying. And today you're actually gonna get to see me use them. All right, I like to think of it when you're as though you're going to do a nice heavy fringe on somebody it's a similar section to that so coming off that part I like to form that little triangle that you get going off that round of the head because it's a similar idea when you're creating bangs and fringe it's because that hair comes forward it's because it falls around the face it stands to reason that when you're creating a highlight that is looking to do that you would pull the same type of section that you would for bangs Matt the master cutter does that make sense yes it does <laughs> Oh, nailed one. All right, so check that out. You see, ooh, that was actually a pretty decent angle you got there. I take that whole slice, pull it down through the comb, and then the teeth separate it for you. So then my finger just gets in there, grabs, and we're separate. What I like about this is that it gives a very even, like, you know, when we're rushing, as in hurrying, not Russian nationality. You can tend to not have your uh, your weaves come out super consistent. And this is a kind of situation where I do like consistency in that I am looking for a good even brightness that's not gonna get too spotty or off kilter because it's right around the face. So a tool like this to help soften, soften by creating consistency. We're just taking those teeny tiny little baby lights Get that locked away in a foil. And I'm just gonna go back to back with these all the way up through this little triangle. Just mixing up my skylights 40 volume because I always use 40 volume with my balayage lighteners because it's open air lightning so you don't get quite as much lift as you do with a foil. A fun case in point when you look at the lasagna that we had she is foiled around the face with 20 40 balayage through the ends around the face actually looks a little bit cleaner and brighter than even through those ends which is a neat thing to realize. So one of the things that I also really liked about this look in the photo that I wanted to recreate is the fact that, like I said, you've got that strong money piece, but there's also a really nice lightness throughout the ends and then a little bit of highlighting throughout like the meat of the haircut so that the color has been shifted from the natural. So I'm gonna hold it vertically so I can come in, think about where you want that first highlight. Keep them strong because this is going to be something that is going to diffuse out into the hair. I'll be doing way fewer highlights so they will be strong. Then as you get down to that mass saturation, I want the ends of this hair to really pop in through what I keep calling the meat of the hair is where you want this to start to shift, but in through these ends is where I really like the color to come alive. So your back two quadrants we're going to attack all at once. Because this is such a soft look, because I want a little bit of consistency with this, I'm splitting the head from right around where that round goes to, starts to come up and around, parietal ridge. I'm just gonna hit everything underneath and really just focus on those ends just because I want them to have a little bit of that lift as well. I'm not concerned so much with the highlights that would be running through the hair. I really just wanna lighten up the, I'm not taking sections that are too big 
big because I am looking to saturate through the end. So if the section is too thick, you might not be able to get that too easily and you'll just be wasting product and time. All right, so I got my underneath lightened. Really, like I said, just focusing on the ends. Got mass saturation all the way through. I'm just looking for the pops of the end for however they choose to wear this. I'm gonna grab my vertical section that I'm going to use. Get to load up my brush with my product. Here we go. All right, so this, give you a nice little all the way around, little 360. Triangle up around the front. Baby lights comb allowed for a little softer of a root, but then pulling the balayage through the ends of that same section made this still stand out nice and strong. You see those two little harder chunks that I did? That was that triangle up top right there that really just helps to frame this and make it stand out a little bit more from the highlights that I did throughout the head. You see there is a soft highlighting that happened up here to make sure that this pink hue that we use does travel into the natural base color that the mannequin had without necessarily creating such a strong presence like the highlights around the face because that really is the star of the show. This is the ensemble cast that makes it work. Like this is a pretty look. Like yeah. if you were to take away the front and somebody just wanted something nice and soft that they can wear when the pink fades off, this just gives a nice dimension of blonde. So, you know, this is something that someone can carry into real life. This is my new favorite one because I did it on my birthday. See you next week. Next week.